software engineer or cybersecurity? The ultimate question I had to face when picking up my career path. So in this video, I'll be outlining some important things that definitely helped me out when considering which career paths to choose. I'll also describe my personal experience when I was a graduate software engineer and compare it to my experience now as a graduate security analyst. So let's dive straight into the main thing that is on everyone's mind. How much money do you make? Looking at SIG, we can see that the average software engineer salary in Australia ranges about 110k to 130k. This kind of salary is mostly mid to senior level where you need a good understanding of the required programming language and the systems. Going over to cybersecurity analysts, we can see the range is about 100k to 120k, which is more or less the same as software engineer. This salary is also mid to senior level where you need a higher level of understanding of the security tools and the general cybersecurity knowledge. Since I'm still in my graduate program, my salary falls a bit under 80 to 90k, so just to give you guys some transparency. So the type of work is where the main difference is. When I was working as a software engineer, my time would be spent developing automations for clients, so it is a very technical role. The required knowledge and skills were Python and SQL, as a lot of my work involves creating automations to pull raw data from databases and perform some data transformation. This role also requires a lot of critical thinking in a way where you need to design a solution where it is efficient in terms of performance and cost and also ease of use for the end users. An example for this is when I had to create an automation to extract PDFs from a shared mailbox. The task was to change some metadata and upload them onto a shared drive online. I spent about a week scoping out all the requirements, researching on APIs that cost the least for PDF processing, figuring out any blockers for shared drive access and designing my automation in a way that is easily understandable. You also have to be good at communicating with stakeholders. This is a very important skill because most stakeholders do not understand the technical jargons that we throw at them. So a key skill to learn is to communicate in a non-technical explain like a five way where they understand. I've had a guy that thought some of the automations I've done were simply magic that happens automatically in the background. So you'll be surprised by how many non-tech savvy people you'll come across. Switching over to cybersecurity analysts, your responsibilities are quite different. The first thing I want to point out is it's not a deal breaker if you don't know any programming language like Python. But with that said, it can be very useful if you do know because some security tools follow the same type of language structure. The type of work involved here is mostly analytical where you're trying to make sense of the data that is presented to you. In this role, your main responsibility is to monitor the security systems that have been put in place and resolve any system vulnerabilities. For example, part of my day is to process all of the phishing email reports that has come through. So what I do is just analyze the emails, look for red flags like sender domains, and the general context of the email to determine whether it's false positive or an actual phishing attempt. Most of the day, you'll be going through tickets, alerts, and detections where you'll be performing investigations as required, so there is little to no development work in this role. With that said, I'm currently in a position where I'm given the opportunity to develop dashboards so it can be presented to the higher-ups. Dashboards like firewall data, network traffic, phishing reports data are examples that I worked on. And to create these dashboards, I would need a good understanding of Splunk search queries, which is quite similar to SQL queries. So this is an example of how knowing one programming language can indirectly help your job. So the interview process is quite different as well. With software engineer interviews, you'll probably come across endless videos on how to prepare for coding questions. This is something that is unavoidable in a lot of the interview process. Most of the time, you have to grind lead code questions where you have to try answer common interview questions like data structures and algorithms. I know a lot of people hate this process and I do too, but personally, I think this is a necessary process to filter out applicants that fake their way in. However, I think a better way to filter out people is to ask coding questions that test your understanding of the fundamentals. I don't see a point of asking irrelevant medium to hard lead code questions during an interview to test someone's knowledge and capabilities. Like this stresses me out knowing that I have to understand a complex question, come up with a brute force solution, 
and then make it more efficient in under 20 minutes, which is pretty unrealistic. But anyway, there is no escaping this process. I remember my interview with Amazon, which was about four hours in total, split into one hour sessions between different teams, and you have to explain why you're a good fit and do coding questions in each of them. Comparing to cybersecurity analysts, the interview process will be more conventional and less technical where you just have to sell yourself. You have to have good general understanding of the current CVEs and your same knowledge and also other networking and infrastructure experiences. So for career outlook, I want to point out that software engineer and cybersecurity are not separate career paths. There are jobs in cybersecurity that requires a software engineer background like cybersecurity engineers. With that said, let's take a look at the demand on LinkedIn. If we do a quick search on software engineers in Australia, we can see about 5,000 job listings at the moment. If we search for cybersecurity, then we can see about a thousand job listings on LinkedIn. Just from those numbers, we can see that software engineer jobs are generally hired as cybersecurity jobs are slightly more niched. Going on this website, we can see about 30,600 software engineers employed Australia-wide. And if we go into programmers, then there are about 177,000 currently employed. Future growth is about 27%, so we're expecting at least another 40,000 or more by November 2026. Looking at cybersecurity jobs, which falls under ICT security, Security, we can see 63k which is currently employed and 38.9% future growth which is another 30,000 more by November 2026. So I hope this video has helped you guys make a decision on which career paths to choose. Hopefully this video also cleared up some common stereotypes and gave you some insights between the differences between software engineer and cybersecurity. Thanks for watching.